go. Hi, I'm Claire McDonald. Um, ten years ago I had a stroke, um, out of the blue, high blood pressure, I didn't know. Um, affected my left side, it was a bleed in the brain, but affected my left side. Um, I was fortunate in being given FES to trial um, while I was still um, as an inpatient in Salisbury. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and I use it for everyday walking. Um, I put it on in the morning and I take it off when I go to bed and it's, uh, it's, it's, you'll see it, it makes a huge, huge difference to my life. Okay, so I would I would make sure I've got a fairly tight fitting, well fitting sock, pull it up and then just roll it back down, ease of sliding it under here like that. And then I can push it in easily with my thumb and fingers to the position under my under my heel where I want it. And then I would put my shoe on and then um, that stays in place all day, I find, and what what I find the advantage of for my myself is I can change my shoes without having to worry about the switch. The switch stays put in my sock, and I can put my outdoor outdoor boots on, my trainers on, my you know my going to town shoes, whatever I want, without worrying about the rest of it. I just change my shoes like you would. I'm going to show you how I put everything on when I first get up in the morning. This little sock, if you like, has got an inner pouch to it. And I would do this first. I would have the seam running down my, the bone on my leg, main bone in my leg. And then the inner pouch is here. Which will is very useful and then I would take the pads um, position them first of all by finding the bony top of my bone here the bony lump there and put the corner over the top and I find it's important for me to make sure each corner is well stuck down um, and then this is relatively easy to position a bit. again next parallel to the shin bone about a finger in from my shin bone there and then this little sock is pulled up over the hole and it keeps the wires where I want them and stops the pads from being rolled down with my jeans. Um, the box then goes, I put sideways into the little pouch that um, is tight enough to hold it well but easy enough, loose enough for me to be able to manoeuvre it and then I can get it little holes to put the leads into and it's easy to swivel it round with my thumb um, and then it will turn on easily and I can feel how to turn it on with my finger on the side. I'll put my sock on and show you, no, my, sh my shoe on I'm sorry and show you how it all works. This then my jeans are rolled down and this keeps everything in place and it isn't knocked no matter what I do in the day. Um, I put the device on when I get dressed in the morning and I take it off when I go to bed.
as you can see, I live in a in a challenging environment, and these steps make um, for difficult walk walking. Except for the FES allowing me to have a a long period between raising my foot and pushing it back down again. It means I can negotiate the steps. As you see, they're fairly steep. That I can negotiate them safely. Um, he likes to be fed on his terms, you understand. There you go, lovely boy. rescue hens as well and they um, like to muscle in whenever there's an opportunity to swap me. As you can see the device is completely secure on my leg, it's not moving, the cuff is holding it well and comfortably. I'm not feeling anything but I'm not worried that it's been dislodged or the wires are coming out. Okay. So Claire, can you can you tell us how long you've used your FES for? Uh, I've used it for uh, just over ten years. And why did you start using FES? I was fortunate that uh, following the stroke, while I was still an inpatient in the stroke ward in Salisbury, um, I was put in touch with a PhD student who was um, looking for uh, patients to try out um, the FES, with, you know, use it for walking. And following the study, I was then enabled to keep it. At that time in Salisbury, it, I wasn't quite sure whether I was going to be able to um, there would be funding for me, but um, I, I was able to keep it, and it's it, it's gone from there. Thank you. And can you can you tell me about your walking when you're not wearing FES? Um, I can't walk. I can't walk safely. I suppose in a nutshell is yeah. um, how I would sum it up. I certainly couldn't live in this environment. Um, and do what I want to do day to day, which would be um, going out, walking in the countryside as much as I can, um, doing my garden, um, negotiating steps and rough ground safely. Um, I couldn't do any of that without FES. Um, FES improves my balance um, in that it, it helps my knee, um, helps me control my knee, which I can't do on my own, my knee snaps back naturally. And so as well as having the drop foot and the spasticity in my ankle, um, I can't control my knee either. So the FES helps with all of those things and I trust it um, when it's working well for me. Um, with the aid of just a balancing stick, I can walk safely nearly everywhere that I want to go. Thank you. I think it's impossible to overstate the benefits that FES, this technology, confers on my life. I can live as normal and fulfilled a life as I possibly can.